We appreciate it. We're going to try and get this interview in uh, quickly before the president gets too far into his infrastructure okay. speech. Uh, first off, your retaliation, your reaction to the retaliation from Russia. Uh, well, I think it was predictable uh, that Russia would retaliate by closing one of our consulates and by expelling a roughly comparable number uh, of American diplomats. Uh, we have a very capable ambassador in Russia. Uh, I think our representation in Russia is in good hands. Uh, but I think this is an important moment when President Trump has joined many of our Western allies in standing up to Russian aggression. Uh, and I commend the president for doing this. Uh, I frankly wish that he had been stronger, firmer earlier in confronting ongoing Russian aggression in interfering in our 2016 election. But I commend the president for taking this strong step against Russia, for which there's now been a counter retaliation by um, the Russian government. John Bolton is a hawk on Russia, hawk on North Korea, but certainly a hawk on Russia. Are you happy to see somebody with stronger views on Russia come into this administration? I do think it's important uh, that we be clear about how much Russia has interfered in our own elections in 2016, threatens to do so again in 2018, and in how strongly we oppose uh, their illegal annexation of Crimea, their interference in other elections in Western Europe, uh, and that we stand firmly with our European allies in pushing back on Russian aggression. So that is one part of uh, his stance that I would agree with. I am concerned um, that he still thinks the Iraq war was a good idea uh, and that he may be unmeasured in how he views um, the best way forward with North Korea. Um, let's talk about the Judiciary Committee. Uh, the chairman and ranking member have asked the Trump campaign to provide more documentation and communication involving uh, the campaign's policy director, John Mashburn, as well as Rick Dearbo Dearborn, who worked on the campaign and later in the White House. Um, can you give us any more detail about that? Why do you need more information on those two men, and, and what are you hoping to find? Well, um, this is, I think, all a part of our ongoing interest in um, the social media campaign of uh, the Trump campaign uh, and our insistence on getting Mark Zuckerberg from Facebook and other social media CEOs to appear before us uh, and to delve more deeply into the issues raised uh, by recent reports that Cambridge Analytica may have stripped the personally identifying data of 50 million Americans and then helped share that. Um, the specifics as to why they're asking for more information on these two individuals at this time, uh, I can't share with you, but it is a part of the broader effort to try and get a handle on the role of the Trump campaign in social media. Do you think these two men might have worked with Cambridge Analytica? Is that why you want to talk to them? Uh, it seems to me that that would be an interesting and important question to ask them. Uh, but. As I say, I, I can't get into any more details about exactly what's motivating uh, the chair and the ranking member. Senator Chris Coons, thank you very much for joining us. Thank you, Katie. Here is the president in Ohio. 90 days again, and then you know what happens? We kill the regulations.